Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 now today. Got some more Epic 7 World Championship preliminaries for you guys. Now, this time around, we're going to be doing our best to get a few more wins under our belt. I really like the best of three round system in this and it's kind of a shame that there's no actual like kind of ladder that we can have that kind of resembles this because the the three waves of pre bands really does shake up the meta but today was my last day at work last day of school and now we are entering summer break so it's more time to give some quality content for you guys to enjoy now unfortunately it seems that the queues are a little bit longer because I'm home earlier than usual but again of course once you start complaining about it you you instantly queue up so it's all good we have a solution worked out for that all right, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna ban Zio and Ron. This is my go-to for this um, preliminaries here because it essentially eliminates all of the uh, most common cleave openers, right? This guy bans DDR and Dragon Bride Senya, okay. So that's good. Uh, at the very least, we'll see a bit more of a controlled match here. Uh, Emma Polit is still available to make things hard for us. But that's fine. I can lock in DDR against Emma Politis. Celine's also fine into Politis. I'm okay with either of those. Uh, I can pick an Earth Celine early. Uh, what's another unit that would be pretty strong into an Emma Politis here? Dragon Bride Senya is gone. I do want to pick Celine, but I want a Mitigation Knight as well. An early mitigation knight does make a pretty big difference. I could maybe go for something like an A Tywin. It's not terrible. Let's go A Tywin and Selene. How about that? Let's go A Tywin and Selene. Now, my opponent does have access to like Midnight Galilius, for example. I'm not too afraid of that, though. If we can get a DJB in the ban protection slot, we're good. I fear no one at that point. Uh, they could pick Genoa. Like, if they're trying to just go aggressive with an ML Politis, like play aggro, they can go Genoa here, maybe ban protect a Minigal Lilius, or the Minigal Lilius and ban protect Genoa. Some pretty solid options. Oh, okay, well, there you go. Not a fully awakened Genoa, but that is fine by me. I mean, this guy is from a pretty good guild. Look at that. They have a crest in the back of their emblem. Let's see what their ban protection unit's gonna be here, because then we can counter our opponent with whatever they choose. I'm thinking of going DDR here, and the problem with- or not DDR, my uh, DJB. The problem with DJB is that he does have a stun on his S1. It just never stuns. <laughs> like, meanwhile, my opponent's DJBs, their mate Chloe's, or whatever, whoever units have stuns on their S1, always happen to get it. Never me. It's quite strange. Alright, we can go- we can definitely go DJB here. I think that is fine. Uh, Laya into Selene is kind of strange. We'll just go this, and what do I want to take into a Genoa? I guess we could go Arya. It's, uh, Arya into Emopolitis is kind of bad, though. You don't get your focus stacks racked up. Um, Hera could be an option, but I want to pick another DPS unit as of right now. Another DPS unit would be ideal. Let's go for a fire DPS unit, because Alaya is there. Fire Ravi is never bad, I think. Fire Ravi is never bad. Let's go for her. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, the only other option I could possibly see is if we not locked in... See, I can't do Knockwall. I can't do Para right now. Because I need two DPSs before I can lock in Para, because i got to see what my opponents are picking here. So, Spectre Tenebria, very nice. Elvira, they're trying to make it so that Ravi can never S3. Spectre Tenebria is good because I don't have any uh, AoE damage dealers. And my Selene's not against the highest attack unit. Even if it was, Jenna was the highest attack unit. I'm going to hope that the randomness will attack the Stene. We could try to go Para, though. Let's go Pira. 
Uh, let's ban the... Do we even ban Alvira? Or do we just ban Genoa? I don't care about the Ammo Politis, because I do have DJB, but I kind of want to ban the Genoa here. Let's ban him. Ooh, he's banning Para. That's actually kind of nice. I did kind of want my Para to be gone. Uh, because I do like this first four. I do need double DPSs. If he banned one of my DPSs, I'd struggle a lot. Mostly because the fact that, um, I won't have enough damage for this Laia, I don't think. So we'll do this. DJ BA Tywin, give the HP imprints to the A Ravi and the Selene. That would be good for their survivability. My Selene's pretty, uh, tanky as well. So let's see what he does. He's just gonna rip the S3. He's probably checking my Selene right now to see if, uh, Selene goes after the highest attack unit. She doesn't, so he is gonna go for it. He has Soulburn, which is okay. I mean, DJB can't really do much against Soulburn. Good thing is, Selene does get to jump in. Oh my god, we just killed. Ooh, ooh, hang on just a second here. Can we kill the Elvira? He has no mitigation. If we can kill Elvira, that's huge! Oh, that is huge! Yeah, now, now I don't care. I do not care about the fact that I don't have my um, DJB shenanigans right off the bat because I got pushed back, right? All good, all good. So Stenny's gonna stun the Ravi, or not, we're gonna resist. I mean, to be fair, he crit Ravi anyway, so if he stunned, Ravi would have cleansed it. So that doesn't really help him, right? Either way, Ravi doesn't get stunned by those types of attacks. Uh, he is ready to go, I guess. Um, so Celine did so much. Okay, let's jump in. Come on, guys, make another quick and easy one here. Hopefully, hopefully we come out on top. I wouldn't mind going to a round three, it's just, it's much easier when I don't have to. Let's be a minute Galilius, so we can continue using uh, knights like a Tywin, because he did a wonderful job in the last match, obviously, when he took his turn. Oh, he bans a Tywin, wait, wait. A Tywin didn't even move. What? Let's pick Lyia. Uh, a Tywin legitimately did not take a turn. Why'd he ban a Tywin? Ban Minigal Lilia so that we can pick Laia, that's good. I mean, because he banned Dragonbride Senya, oops, double click that. He banned Dragonbride Senya, there's no DDR, so Laia's a very strong pick here. Oh, oh, look at that, look at that, what? That was a really fast pick. Uh, Last Rider Kral and Navy Captain Landy, pretty interesting because uh, I could technically bring Dragon King Sharoon here. She's very strong to this type of team. Oh, Strazi is too, though. Hang on just a second. There's so many, so many avenues we can go because he played a slower, he's playing a slower team right now. Okay, maybe Captain Landy, we lock in Emma Bologna. I think we go here. This is what I think we do. We go... Dragon King Sharoon, and El Bologna. The reason we go Dragon King Sharoon, there's no stuns or sleeps, right, on the other team. It doesn't matter. You defense break everybody by using an AoE S3. That's all I care about. You AoE S3, defense break everybody, it's over. Uh, Elvira's picked up here. That's fine. Lionheart's picked up as well. I think we can still Selene- wait, 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 you can still Selene this. Hang on. We can still Selene this. If I dual attack with Laia, procs Lionheart, Selene's gonna jump into somebody, and then we can Soulburn and kill the Elvira again. Oh, but she's gonna have anti-crit on. Uh, unless we kill- unless we ban Landy. Ooh, this just became much, much tougher. Oh my god. I guess I could still technically go Selene. Hmm. Let's go a knight. Let's go a knight for mitigation. We definitely need some hardcore mitigation right now. Yolha seems pretty good here because he has Lionheart and uh, LRK. 
So Yolha is going to be very solid. We can just use all that incoming nuke damage and throw it right back at them. Honestly, I probably could have gone Earth Crow and uh, Yolha. There's not, not, not Earth Crow, Ice Crow and Yolha. And then both of those can just throw back damage. Bologna is going to be very hindered here as a DPS because of the Alvira on the other side. Oh man, Rowana. I just had a really bad run in with Rowana and RTA. I don't know if I want to let her through. I don't know if I want to let her through. Let's not let her through. Oh, he's banning Yoha. Okay, so we have no mitigation. Lion's gonna give everyone some health. That's the least she can do. Um, yeah, no, I think this is fine. I need the effectiveness on Dragon King Sharoon because we're gonna try our best to uh, defense break these knights. Now, the Alvira, I can't really do much about. But I can do this, right? Boom. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So, here's the thing. Lionheart procs. Is procs Selene? <gasps> Selene doesn't cut, though. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, no, no. There, 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 there. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. How did we cut last time? Oh, we did stun the Lionheart. That's cool. Let's go straight for the Alvira. Oh, it didn't crit? Oh, no. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Good job, Selene. You had one job and you did it. Oh, I'm so glad I sold her in that. Okay, so now Bologna is free to do as she pleases because Dragon King Sharoon is going to demolish this team now. We're going to defense break everybody. Lionheart lost her turn. It's fine. Oh! Okay, no, that's not... That is not what was supposed to happen. Uh, that is really not what's supposed to happen. Oh my god, my, my poor Bologna here is dead. Uh, unless, unless, please heal. <laughs> please heal. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, who do we kill at this point? We kill Lionheart. I need to get as much damage in on this Lionheart as possible. There we go. Nice kill. Got the Vigor buff. Fantastic. Let's just focus the LRK. I don't want to trigger Landy here. Alright, let's push up the team, because Bologna has the Vigor buff. We can probably kill this Landy with the Soul Burn S1. I know we don't have an attack buff here, but let's do it. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. And you look at that, guys. Would you look at that? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and another one in the bag. We are slowly climbing the ranks, guys. But yeah, had a half day today, uh, but wanted to get a video out for you guys anyway. Uh, moving forward here, we'll see more Epic 7 World Championship preliminaries. Again, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video series, and uh, subscribe to see more of it later down the line. And until next time, take care.